Okay, hi everybody, it's me. Got a little late on these reviews, sorry about that. I am so hard. Anyway. A regular Magic High School. Season 3, Episode 6. Staplechase Part 2. A lot happened in this episode. And, ugh. So much, so much scientific gargles. Gargle marbles going on. But, I'll try to get through it. So basically, what really happens in this episode is... Tatsuya gets the information about what's going down at the nine high school competition. That, which is basically these weapons called the P weapons, which is basically parasite dolls. Now, if we go back last season, the parasites were those vampire draining energy beings that were in season two. Apparently, what's his face? I think it was Kuroda. That's the guy's name. I could be wrong. Let me just go and search. To be safe, Kudo. Right, Kudo Retsu. He took the parasites away from, I think, the Yatsubas or whoever. And what they ended up doing with them is they put them in robot bodies. Now, it's explained in the the episode that Tatsuya and Miyuki, they received this report from Ayako. And it explains that there were magicians from the continent involved, that they were smuggled, and they were using them to create these dolls, or blah, blah, blah. But the long and short of it, we start off, yeah, we start off basically with um, the guy I just said, Witzo, uh, Kudo. So Kudo is talking to this other guy that, you know, he doesn't believe, you know, he explains, he's explaining to him that these dolls can't. They can't attack humans. They can't attack the students at the at the competition. And he believes that he referenced Tatia's aunt's name. And the guy's like referencing that Tatia is gonna get involved and he's gonna take these guys these things out and stop from doing anything. But as we saw in this episode, his aunt doesn't really want him to do that. <laughs> Because the last time we saw him do something like that, yeah, he got, you know, exposed of what he is. But anyway, he explains that. The rest of the episode follows Tatsuya Miyuki going to uh, their master. Hence, following the trail to this Nine Institute. Where he does witness, he does see the dolls, and he's almost attacked, Tatsuya, but he blocks it. And that's where they got the report and the information about the P parasite dolls. So basically, the parasites are inside of these dolls, and they have a spell on them to activate and, and so on and so forth. But they're going to be used during the staple chase, which is an event. We find out in this episode that is not televised. Hmm, very peculiar. But, you know, that's basically the story there. And they go over the report in the tr on the train and everything. Then we get a few scenes at the competition when, uh, what's the guy's name? Ichijo? The guy from season one. Who Tatsuya fought in the nine school um, uh, tournament? Well, he basically is going over to him and explaining to him about that things have changed during the competition for this competition and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. By the way, the person who gave uh, 
Miyuki, the report was her uncle, Kuroba. Now, what Ichijo, I believe that was his name, yeah, Ichijo, states, because Tatsu tells him, you should have it investigate. And he agrees, and they move on from that. Now, the rest of the episode also includes their aunt of the Yatsubas talking to, I believe, the head of the G... As the GDF or GSDF, DF, which is Japan, um, Japan Force, you know, what's her name? Ah, Seiki Hiroma. Now, this conversation is basically stating about Tatsuya, and they don't want to get involved too much, but you guys are getting him involved, and she realizes, like, ah, uh, you know. That was the whole bit behind that. But there are a lot of things happening, a more like a lot of talking. So, <clears throat> the short of it is that these dolls are going to be used during this tournament. And chances are, Tatsuya is probably going to get involved to stop them. But, he's looking out for Miyuki. And, yeah, probably going to get involved. But that was really all that, as far as I know, happened. A lot of talking. But it was a lot of meaningful dialogue going on with the plot now going towards the ninth school, ninth high school competition. Of course, we see Ayako again also in this episode. She's part of the fourth Magic High School. Tatsu's for the first, so she's the fourth. So, but that's what we get from this episode. So, shit's gonna go down. <laughs> um, but it's clear that, you know, between Kuroda and everybody else, that these parasite dolls supposedly can't hurt humans. Can't hurt anyone. Unless... They have a weapon on hand, like a rifle or a gun or some kind of weapon. Then they'll attack. But if they don't, then they're they're safe. But overall rating for this one, you know, yeah, not a lot of action. But like I said, it was very meaningful. I still give this a nine out of ten because it was still meaningful dialogue being being said. They were investigating some things, and, and things happened. And we now, now everyone pretty much knows, the main players in, in, in the show know what's going on here to a certain extent. So, should be interesting to see as we move forward. So, now we're going to, like I said, now it's going to go straight into the, the high school tournament competition. And based on these new events and the staple, the staple chase is definitely the highlight here. So, like, if they're not going to televise it, and these parasite dolls show up and cause all kind of harm, uh, you're going to see some sparks fly. So, look forward to that. Overall, like I said, good episode. We had some Oni Sama moments, but hey, Miyuki's a nice girl. She likes her brother. It's not that. Stop. There is no incest happening here. Thank you. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Bonka 22. Things happening. And Tatsu's going to get involved. It's going to be good. I'll see you guys later.